Hello, my friends. I know you're going to think I don't change my clothes, but I'm just doing a whole bunch of videos all in one day. I had the day off, and I figure I might as well get caught up on some videos and space them out a little bit. So, um, today I'm going to go ahead and do, um, I've been talking on other videos that my daughter doesn't care for my canned goods or um, the things that I make, and I wanted to try to um, actually maybe see if she would like some of the things that I do to maybe broaden her horizons. But this is actually for um, Melanie over at a Godly Home. She's got a $10 collab, a, a gifts $10 and under. And I personally like the idea of a homemade gift versus a purchase gift because to me, yes, you know, it'll take forever for my daughter to get back my jar, but I know this. Um, but I think it's something that, you know, when you make something from the heart, you know, it's not just something that you just willy-nilly picked up off the shelf and, you know, ran with it. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to bring it down here. Now, I did pour the cocoa over top of the powdered milk. So that's what this brown is. Um, there was a big lump at the bottom, and I have lumps now. So I'll bring it down here, and I'll show you what I'm doing. Now, I'm really shocked at, you know, this is actually... Um, uh, oops, I need some sugar. Hold on. You know, I try to always have this stuff out and about, but anyways, so here's going to be a half cup of sugar going in here too. And um, what it is, is a third cup of cocoa. And as you can see, that's that lump that <laughs> got all over my nice new pretty apron. And um, it's, it asks for an eighth a tablespoon of salt. I'm just going to put just a smidge. I mean, just uh, just a really small spit, smidge. Um, three cups of powdered milk, half a cup of, of sugar, three, a third cup of cocoa and that little bit of salt. And then what you're gonna do is just mix this together. I mean, obviously try to get as many lumps of this out as possible. I would assume, honestly, now that I'm thinking about with all these lumps, I should have just put this like, do the food processor so this would be like all you know really nice and um, especially super well mixed but um, the lumps would be gone you know I'm trying to impress her with things not maybe so much not not impress her but she likes hot chocolate and it is getting the season for hot chocolate so maybe, maybe, just maybe, you know, she'll be willing to try some of this. And, um, you know, I have this, and I put in another thing in Melanie's uh, collab here of a white cake mix, and I'm going to go ahead and give that to her. I just did a video on brownie mix, and I made an extra brownie mix that's actually in my oven. And I can tell you how well that actually turned out once it gets done. It looked really, really good. I think sometimes taste is mainly done you know with what how how your eye perceives it honestly that's one thing I've noticed since um, all this issue with with that's going on with me so I'm gonna go ahead and get my I don't know why my camera keeps airing out today but this is something that is very inexpensive this might have cost seriously if you had to even go out and buy all this stuff probably less than probably three dollars and that would have made probably enough batch to go the whole entire winter with, even with the prices that it is now. So definitely, if you can, um, try to make some of the gifts yourself. You know, try to um, see if it's something that people do like. I mean, hopefully that my daughter will decide that she maybe does like some of the things that mom makes and she's not maybe as crazy as she likes to think that she is. So yeah, so hopefully, like I said, you know, it depends on how much you're going to have to play around with it, with your liking, with your water, with, you know, or if you want milk or whatever have you. My husband just uses our um, boiling hot water out of the sink. And, um, yeah, so hopefully you'll like this. Um, add the marshmallows if you want, uh, fresh or um, some people use dehydrated marshmallows. Some people use fresh. I had some freeze-dried ones. So hopefully between all that, um, she will decide she likes it. We'll like, uh, we'll hope. But anyways, thank you very much for stopping by. Please check out Melanie's um, 
the rest of her collab. Uh, I did get this recipe actually from my sister over at City Girl Homestead. And of course, even though I got it all dirty, um, I'll have the information uh, for the girl who made me this really super cute um, apron. There is actually a video on that too. And um, I hope you had a very nice day and uh, thank you for stopping by. Have a blessed day.